Well, it has been quite the season for Ohio State. A roller coaster of emotions for all the fans out there, but today the Buckeyes didn't quite hear the news they wanted as they learned they will not be in the college football playoff. Did I expect? I, I, I hoped, you know, to expect. I didn't study it that much. You know, the whole conversation with our players have been ever since that loss was laser focus on our opponent, laser focus on your job responsibility, and they've done that. And it would be an injustice for me, you know, ESPN asked me, how can we, you know, what can they do better? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Uh, did I expect? No. Did I hope? Yes. And so I'm anxious to, we're going to have a, we're going to have some fun in this bowl practice. We're going to do our very best to uh, win it. And our players know we're not going to change the way we do our business. We're going to try to go win a game. That game he is referring to is against USC in the Cotton Bowl. These two teams have played each other 24 times, the most recent back in 2009 at Ohio Stadium. Ohio State will look to end their losing streak against USC as the Buckeyes have not beaten the Trojans since 1974. Like Ohio State, USC also finished 11-2 overall, won five straight to end the season, and brought home a conference title. And here's the rest of the final college football playoff rankings. Your championship contenders look like this. Clemson will face Alabama in the Sugar Bowl, while Oklahoma will face SEC champ Georgia in the Rose Bowl. Again, it's Ohio State against USC in the Cotton Bowl. That game will be on Friday, December 29th. And the second best team in the Big Ten will face Miami, Wisconsin playing in the Orange Bowl. As for the rest of the Big Ten, Penn State finishes ninth. The Nittany Lions will play in the Fiesta Bowl against Washington. Notre Dame's final spot is 14th. They draw the Citrus Bowl against the LSU. In 16th is Michigan State. The Spartans will play Washington State in the Holiday Bowl. And our last Big Ten team making the top 25 is Northwestern. They will play Kentucky in the Music City Bowl. Here's a quick glance at the last four spots. Eight teams from the Big Ten are receiving a bowl game. Those not in the top 25 are Michigan, Iowa, and my alma mater, Purdue. We are a day removed from Marion Local claiming their 10th state championship in school history. The Flyers beat down Kirtland 34-11, to but the offense's success would not exist without one key piece. Offensive tackle John Dirksen played his final game for the Flyers on Saturday. The Notre Dame commit leaves the program able to call himself a three-time state champion. The senior standout appreciates his time at Marion Local, but is thankful for how his journey as a Flyer ends. Football develops you as a person, and it's been a great ride. Four years of my life that I will never forget, and I was glad it ended the way it did. A tremendous player, a great leader, um, just everything you would ever want, you know, and a high school football player. As for the MAC team that played Friday morning to kick things off for the conference, Minster took down Cuyahoga Heights in the Division 7 title game. The Wildcats dominated the Redskins from start to finish, tallying almost 400 yards of offense and snagging four interceptions. The late season success, well, that's a credit to senior leadership, according to head coach Garen Stokes. They said, what, what do you want out of this thing? The seniors in high school playing in the state championship game, what do you want out of this thing? And they said, we just want to be known as the tightest group that's ever come through here, uh, the, the most tight-knit group that's ever come. They don't care about state championships. They, they just wanted to perform at a high level and, and really, really, really know that they had each other's backs. And I think you saw that defensively when we were in the red zone. Uh, they, they, they scrapped, man. We just go out there. We, we play for each other. We don't care about personal stuff. We just want to come together as a team and just maximize our time. Yeah. And with both Minster and Marion Local bringing home the gold, our basement doctor play of the week is a joint combination of both teams' performances over the weekend. With the Wildcats and Flyers wins, the Midwest Athletic Conference now has a grand total of 125 state titles, 33 of them coming alone from football. Minster captured their third title in program history, while Marion Local won their 10th. The Flyers have won six of the last seven. MAC football teams have played in the state finals 46 times, and in those 46 games, they are 33 and 13, giving them a win winning percentage of 72%. It seems your money is safe with the MAC, and don't be surprised if you hear more state champs hailing from the conference this school year. To the league, the Lions look to bounce back from their Thanksgiving Day loss against the Ravens. Lions trailing by 20, but here they come in the third. Theo Riddick scampering in untouched. Lions finally on the board down 20 to 7, and Detroit's not done yet. Tion Green bounces off a defender and makes it over the goal line. Lions now within seven. Fourth quarter, Stafford fakes the handoff and finds Nick Ballore. Lions back 
within seven, but Stafford gets hurt later in the game, and in comes Jake Rudock. The Ravens defense leads the league in interceptions, so that's not comforting for a guy who gets next to no playing time. Eric Weddle takes it in for six. Lions lose 44 to 20. And a little bit of college hoops for you. My alma mater, Purdue, facing Northwestern. Second half, he lied his own Dakota Mathias is silky smooth off the inbounds play. He scores nine today, and the former Bulldog also adds five assists, including this one to Isaac Haas to give Purdue the lead. Boilermakers win 74 to 69. All right. Thanks so much, John. We'll be right back.